What's up guys, welcome back to another video. A lot has happened with the EK off camera and I apologize for that. I am in a huge time crunch and I'm building this solely alone right now. I wanted to update you guys on what has happened with the EK since we last saw each other. Pretty much a lot has happened, a lot of headaches too. Let me get into this video. We've had a bunch of changes on the EK off camera and I wanna catch you guys up to speed. What I wanted to do is get a proper header and exhaust for this car. And it is a temporary setup because we are going boost. That's what, un that, this is, that's it. That's boost, we're, we're going boost. So I don't know if I've mentioned, you guys probably caught in a few clips, but we are going boost. So that is that. So this is all temporary. The reason I want it is because the exhaust is mangled, flattened, tons of holes and the car was kind of running rough. So I'm like, let me get a new exhaust and header set up for the car so that it can sound great and look great when you guys check it out. As you guys can see, we have a brand new header, exhaust studs and nuts on. This was going to go on the B16 head since we're doing LSV tech, but uh, one of the bolts broke on me and I said, you know what, let's stud the head just so that I don't have any issues coming on and off. I picked myself up a brand new skunk two header and this thing looks absolutely gorgeous i need to accompany it with a nice dipstick for sure we did the yanaka exhaust but they do not mate the reason they do not mate is the exhaust is meant for the d series the header is meant for a b series the flange differences were about a half inch so they wouldn't work so i had a friend of mine weld a two and a half inch flange to the exhaust and mid pipe to work with a skunk two header, but I didn't take in consideration the length. So now the exhaust is too long. I am calling a big favor from a couple of my friends, Custom Flow Fab, and they're gonna come to the house, give me a house call and trim that exhaust setup for me and get it welded. So I need to trim it about four inches just so that it can all weld or all work perfectly together. I ended up posting what this car sounded like with just a header and mid pipe on Instagram and it sounded nuts. If you guys missed that, make sure you check out the Instagram. It is right here. Give it a follow. A lot of cool things happen there too. Since I had to do a VTEC header on a non VTEC motor, I had to change the oil pan to a Moroso pan, which I haven't wiped off just yet. So we end up doing the oil pan with a Fel Pro gasket and it looks really good. We are bunged and we are ready pretty much for boost. So when I was doing the spoon calipers, my oil pressure switch decided this is my time. I, it's, it's time to go. So I had to do the oil pressure switch on the car. Also, we got the car bled properly and the brakes worked fine. Now let's move on to the interior. The interior of the car is slowly but surely coming together also. We have a new armrest thanks to Clean Street. I've installed a new Type R shift boot with the spoon shift knob. I have two spoon shift knobs. This is more of my beat up one and then I have a very mint rare one which is like an OG style that's not on the car right now. We have the door panels back in for now. Eventually I will have to change the cloth on that there. I have a new center console here. And that's thanks to Huey. He definitely hooked me up really well with the spindles and the center console. I have to fix this. This is coming out a little bit. So but aside from that, the center console looks pretty mint. Need a new head unit, um, but this is all looking pretty good. We have the DC2 Type R seat here, the Recaro there, and I'm still working on the rear seats. I do want a full interior on this car. I still have to do my steering wheel and a few other things. I may install my spoon mirror today, possibly the steering wheel, but we do have a few things that we need to do today too to get this car ready. One of the most exciting parts, which I don't wanna to get too close in case there's any color codes, is the wrap is finally here. The wrap is here and I'm trying to get this car ready so that I can drop it off at Alpha Detailing to get this car wrapped up. I am so excited to wrap a car or get my car wrapped. I've never done it before, so this really, really gets me excited and the new color is gonna look insane. Like, I promise you guys, it's so freaking good. The only thing I will give away, it is a metallic finish, so it will look like paint. The car, once it's wrapped, is going to look immaculate. 
There's going to be a few stages of this car and the second stage of this car is going to be with a new hood and new fenders. But for now, and when I mean new, it's going to be different style. But for now, we're gonna keep this as is. My goal is to get this car wrapped, buttoned up and dialed in, ready for the DXN show. And then afterwards, we are going to do the head swap and boost the car. So a lot of big and fun things happening with the car. Um, but for whatever reason, the wrap is exciting me so freaking much. I've been able to do things with this car that I thought I would never be able to do, like spoon calipers, Recaro seats, all these amazing parts. And it's a big thank you to Garage 16. So if you do want to check them out, www.garage16.ca, use discount Lopes5 to save some money. What I may attempt to do today is the X brace on the back of the car. This is another thing that is going to look so freaking good and then up there i have a few spoon parts that we may install too to start getting things dialed in and pretty much buttoned up let's open up the x-rays and take a look at it and then we'll get to the spoon parts afterwards Check it out, it looks absolutely awesome. It's gonna look so good in the EK. This is going to sit back here and it makes a beautiful X and it just helps keep the car more rigid and also it just looks so freaking cool. I'm going to remove the bumper. Let's see if we can get these guys off and uh, see how it's going to sit. is going to look dope as hell. So pretty much it is going to sit along these lines here. I'm going to show you guys a little close up afterwards, but let's get past here. Uh, but you can see it's going to sit on the strut tower of the suspension here. This thing's going to look so freaking dope. You guys like so sick. <laughs> Now imagine this actually bolted in. This might be tough by myself because I heard it is very finicky with Fitment, but we are going to try my best by myself to do this. I know it's not hard, just being able to hold things and bolt it down. We are going to give it our best go. Most of the time when I see people install these, they have some friends, but I don't have any friends. Check it out guys, it is coming together. This is almost just a test fit. I just want to make sure it fit. I still have to put the brackets for the bottom uh, bar to go across, but this looks so freaking cool so far. I like the finish, it gives the car a raw kind of Kenjo aggressive feeling, and I think it looks so cool. Let me get back to this. I just want to give you guys an update. Check it out, it's coming together. Damn, 
time, she looks good. She looks so freaking good. I was like, it looks sick. I still have to tighten all the bars and everything, but it looks so freaking good. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Nothing is tightened, everything's still kind of loose. I just want to make sure it's fit, and everything is fitting so freaking good. I am excited. I know this is finicky. It's a lot of adjusting. That's why I did a lot of it off camera. So you guys didn't have to get bored, but pretty much each side, everything that you have has adjustment. And what I tried doing, if you notice from one side to another, is tried evening out all the adjustment. I did not want one side looking more janky than the other side. I also tried putting all the bolts in uh, uniform, pretty much all in the same direction from one side to the other, just so there's some, you know, I don't know, I have, I have OCD with certain things and I think that looks much better. This thing looks so freaking dope. I'm going to tighten it off camera. You guys don't have to see it, just super boring. Just tighten a bunch of stuff and then I'll show you guys what's next. My Volk T37s are up for sale. They're T37Vs in the gunmetal finish, 15 by eight plus zero. And I have some Nankang tires. I think they're 185, 45, 15. Uh, DM me on Instagram or shoot me a message through the Facebook Messenger or comment here and we can figure out a way to communicate with each other if you don't do any social media. And uh, I'm looking for local sales only within the Canada region, Toronto GTA. But if you do want me to ship them, it is possible, but it comes with a cost. May If these don't sell, possibly go wide body, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I love the stock body, but it's a, it's a possibility. That's, that's all I'm saying. But if they sell, I can buy Volk T37s that fit the car better. This is a great Miata spec, or if you're running super aggressive camber like I was before, this is what you want. Welcome back to another day. I have the boys underneath the car from Custom Flow Fab doing me a personal favor and saving the day with the EK. The EK has been troublesome with the exhaust and header setup because the EK is a D series car originally and we have a B series uh, motor in it. So unfortunately the exhaust was a little too long and they're coming here to save the day and pretty much get the car on the road so we can get it in for wrap. I am going to tag below all their information, check them out. They do not do house calls, but I had to beg them for this one and they helped me out. But they remember they do not do house calls, but they do amazing work and uh, you know, I'm super excited for them to actually get some work done on the car. And then once we go boost in the future, we'll be reconnecting again.
I just want to say a big, big, big thank you to the boys at Custom Flow Fab. Contact them for any fab work you guys want. We were discussing some very cool titanium stuff that we're going to do in the near future. All right, I know the mic's probably not sounding the greatest right now. I apologize. Hopefully most of this video, I didn't have mic issues. And if I did, I apologize. For whatever reason, my road bike completely shit the bed now, which is good. I thought um, it didn't, but it did. So uh, the car, the exhaust sounds great. I'm scraping a bit just because the first owner of the car, not Justin, did custom linkages on the car that sit really low. So the exhaust had to sit a little lower because of that. So once I do linkages on the car, like proper ones with a the shifter, they're going to tuck the exhaust a little further up. All right, I think that's it for today's video. We have a few more things coming up. The next video might be a whole bunch of spoon stuff being installed. I have more fun stuff and maybe the S300. But for now, I think that was enough. We did the X-brace, we did the exhaust. I went for a bit of a drive and the car is not uh, making that much noise anymore. I'm not gonna go on the main road just yet. I wanna clean a few sensors and possibly replace a map sensor. So I'm sitting here at the kitchen table editing this video as my kid runs around, the dog and all that. And I, I hear the audio in this video and it basically shit the bed. So this is a new mic, so this should sound better. And then the end of my video just cut for some reason. I'm having some technical issues I'm trying to figure it out, but I want to give you guys an outro to this video. So at the end of the day, uh, we did quite a few things in this video. Like this? Yeah. And we did the X-brace, we worked on the car, I had to raise the car. The re like yeah, the reason I had to raise the car, cheese. say cheese, is like <laughs> sleep. Like this is the fun of having children sit down. The picture is so cool. Is the picture so cool? <laughs> you can't touch, sit down. So I had to raise the car because the first owner of the car, not the the gentleman I wanted off did custom linkages so they sat low so I have custom linkages and a shifter we figured that out afterwards and pretty much what we have to do now is I have to do new new linkages new shifter and then I can tuck the exhaust up a bit more so that I can lower the car just a tad but thank you I just wanted to do, say cheese Selena I just wanted to do a bit of a video before or a bit of an outro for you guys as I try edit this video in this wild house uh, but thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate you guys Peace out. Do it once do it right like comment subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Please subscribe and later